in the book of Romans, 14 chapter. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to make an announcement that this year's banquet, uh, State Sunday School and BT Congress Banquet will be canceled this year. I want to let everybody know in advance uh, that this year's banquet, State Congress Banquet, will be canceled. Congress Banquet will be canceled. Thank you. Romans the 14th chapter. We want to thank God for our visitors. Amen. We thank God that God put something on your heart to come this way. Amen. You didn't have to do it. We understand that Christianity is a volunteer business. You can go any way you want. Thank you for stopping by the historic Okay, Missionary Baptist Church. God bless your heart. Go to the 14th chapter of Romans. We'll look at two verses this morning. We'll look at verse 8 and 9. And the Bible, or Chico me five, so you can see this. You can see this. back there, Everybody, everybody need to buy it. They want to make sure that you read what does say the Lord. You see Jesus for yourself. And say, Reverend Andrew, and let me see what's in the book. Don't be under the book. Don't be under the gospel bus. I'm going to give you a book, chapter and verse. You see for yourself, there's nothing more important than you personally see what the Word of God has to say. What does say the Lord? Okay, you there? Everybody good? Okay, I understand. Good back there? Okay, no problem. Romans 14, chapter. You think about it, we ain't going nowhere until you see it for yourself. I want everybody to see it. That's important. Good? Okay, we're going to read verses 8 and 9. Let's go ahead and play this. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ both died and rose and received and living. Hmm. Amen. We need to understand that he died for us. What that means is he let go. And he humbled himself to the lowest estate. Psalm A asked the question, Daniel asked, he said, What is man? What is man? That you're mindful of man. That you made him a little lower than the angel. So we find that Jesus was setting up in glory. Yeah. And the angels acknowledged who he was. But because of him and his concern for humanity, he emptied himself out. They called the kenosis of Christ. To pour himself out to come into humanity. To be lower than the angels that's been giving him praise all eternity. That's amazing, ain't it? Yeah. The angels were sitting around saying, now, now why in the world are you doing this? Mm -hmm. 7th chapter Revelation says, that's 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands of angels sitting around the throne room of God. And they're sitting there watching Jesus hand to his dad and say, give me a bite and I'll go down. And I'm going to save and redeem old mankind. Oh, yeah. They just can't understand. Yeah. But so I can't explain it either. But Jesus humbled himself because of what true love is yeah. about you and your circumstances. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what you're going through, but evidently what you're going through, God wants you to hear this message today uh -huh. yeah. to let you know he died for us. Amen. Amen. No matter how in your mind's eyes, your mind say one thing, because your mind don't believe, your spirit believes. Your mind thinks, it goes and argues, it goes back and forth, so your mind will give you some negative thoughts. All right, all right. But the ones that are born again, your spirit ought to say, shut up, mind. Yeah, yeah. You can't believe it. Yeah. I believe because of what Jesus done for us. Yeah. And because when the Holy Spirit allows us and we move our will out the way and accept the will of God, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will come inside of us come on, and help man. us understand.
the blessing that God has got for you and I when he been back on Calvary all those years ago. But even though Jesus humbled himself, God exalted him to the highest place. He who made himself no reputation, now crowned Lord of all. Bottom line is, he came down for no reputation at all. He showed sure did. But God acknowledged who he is. He redeemed us. Brothers and sisters, he redeemed us by the blood that he might be Lord of our lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is a blood covenant. Yes, yes. One thing I have a covenant, it's another thing to be blood brothers. Back in the day, you know, we, we blood brothers, we're going to cut some blood, we're going to get together. Mm -hmm. Indians will do the same thing. So when you really understand what that means is, because he shed his blood for you, and the covenant or the contract that he's made with you is, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care where you've been. I don't care how you're hurting. I don't care how you're backslid. I don't care how you made some mistakes. Because you have believed that God sent a Savior. Oh, yes. God sent a Redeemer in the time. Yes. Here in times like these. Yes. There's a blood covenant contract that God made with humanity. Yes. And it went back, even back in the Genesis, when Adam and Eve messed up and he had to go kill an animal. Because they run around there in their birthday suit and they call themselves and get some fig leaves to hide themselves. That was an animal that had to die. That had to die so he could get a hide off of it to put on Adam and Eve. That's the blood contract God has given us. And brothers, God is the same yesterday, oh, yes, today, yes. and forevermore. Yes, yes, yes. God don't change. Yes. And the blessing that God gave Adam before the fall still goes to us, the believers of faith. That God will make a way out of nowhere. Yes, 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 I need to understand. Amen. We are in the lineage of a blessing. Yes, amen. amen. Our faith determines whether or not you receive your blessing. Amen, amen. And He told Abraham, "You're the father of the people." Mm -hmm. Abraham was faithful, and that's why God blessed Abraham. And see, folks, miss that point. Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was a Gentile. And the promise that God gave Abraham was 40 and 30 years before he gave Moses the law. And because God's promise is null and void, you can't void what God can say. All right, all right. And because of your faith, just like you had faith that chair for Holy, that's the same faith I need the faith of mustard seed. Amen. To understand why Jesus come to die for us. Amen. And it's a blood covenant contract. Yeah. That he said, I come and die. The contract is the let you I love you unconditionally. Amen. I had to come to go to Calvary yes. for remission of all the mistakes you can make in your lifetime. Because in our mind's eyes, they don't believe it. Our mind don't believe it. But our spirit says, I believe. Yes. Well, the spirit will tell you, mind, shut up. All right. Anybody rationalizing yes or no is about believing and having faith because of what God has done for you and I. Mm -hmm. We can't save us. That's right. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you are not your own. That's yeah. right. They're not the problem. That's right. He has brought us that we might be his own peculiar treasure. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, God loves you so much, you're a treasure. Yes, yes, yes. Think about that. Yes. Come on, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are a peculiar treasure to Jesus Christ because he paid it all by all you. Yes, yes. You get this now? That's so key. That they hit you. Because I know it. Ain't nobody told you this lately. Because of your faith. Because what God done for you. And because how God loved you so much, this moment is the last Sunday in November, year 2023. Yes. You have been bought with a price. Yes. Oh, yes. You have been freely forgiven yes. and holy, yes. blessed with privilege yes. of belonging to Him. Bottom line is, you are so yes. unique. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're so different. Yes, Lord. Matthew 10 chapter said, Very head to head. Oh, no. Yes, Lord. He took time out to take inventory. Of who you are. Oh, thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, some of us don't feel special because yes. life has been beating us up. Yes. Somebody walked away from us. Uh, somebody yes. lied on us. Somebody did bad things to us. And we have, in our mind's eyes, it's nothing but negative. That's what the mind thinks about. It. It's yes. negative. But because you're born again, if any man be in Christ, yes. you're yes. yes. 
Somebody ought to say hallelujah yes. right there. Amen. Amen. You look the same on the outside. Yes. But when you're born again, yes. oh my, you need to understand. Oh, yes. You're peculiar. Yes. You're peculiar. You're meticulous. Something different about you. Yes. That's why you got your mind scared on looking beyond my heartache. Yes. Don't care what it feels like. Yes. Yes. For God's able. Yes. Yes. Make a difference. Yes. Yes. Don't get it hung on cow. Only those alive in the God but own him as Lord. The bottom line is, as long as you got breath in your life, yes, yes. in your body, yes. as long as you acknowledge it with your right mind, yes. who he is, yes. you put him in reference to who he is. Amen. That's amazing, ain't it? Amen. Let the Lord and your Redeemer and God take his rightful place on the throne of your heart. If you quit fighting the law, yes, if you put God first, yeah. If they will be all right. Amen. Proverbs 3 chapter 9 should say, Trust in God. Yes. Be not to thy own understanding. Yes. In yes. all thy ways, what? Acknowledge him. What he going to do? Direct thy path. path. It's mandatory. He wants the best for you. Sometimes we get caught up in life, trials and tribulations of this life, heartache, setbacks, disappointments, mm-hmm. bereavement. There's a lot of things that got us derailed. But we got to keep looking toward the hill. Amen. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. When it comes out here. Amen. Amen. All I have. Amen. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Come, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So all I have. Not some of it. Oh, no. Christ died for us to purchase our freedom from all iniquity. You don't understand that? He died for you to pay everything that you done did wrong. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. If any devil tell you done something on your mind, is reminding you, yeah. God, every night what you done done. Amen. I ain't good enough. I didn't think that you have to do the right heart. But the Spirit says, shut up. Right. God died for me. Amen. Jesus died for me. Amen. He paid it all. He died for us that, that the just, he died that the just for the unjust, that he may bring us to God. In other words, we are not worthy. I told you the other day, Isaiah 64, 5 said, on our best days, we are filthy rags. Yes. 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 None of us are worthy. Of what God has got for you and I. Unworthiness, here's the good thing. Unworthiness qualifies us for candidates for salvation. Amen. 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 Your unworthiness. If you think I'm joking, just listen to the voice that everybody else said my testimony. They ain't lifting you up. I'm trying right. to put them on your neck. Yeah, right. that's, it. Yeah. that's it. But because he died for us. We got a right to the tree of life. Oh, yes. That's yes. good news right there. Yes. That's amazing, ain't it? Yes. Because he died for us, we might receive the adoption of some. Whether you like it or not, we all adopted. We talk bad about baby babies. All right. But I'm so glad Jesus adopted me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I've been my best. Yes. He done the same thing for you and I. Because the bottom line is, he wants to have a relationship with you, so he wants to spend eternity with you. Amen. He don't want to miss it. He, has, he says he has a desire of none. It's not fair. It's not fair. Ain't that amazing? Amen. I know some folks, we want to get to the curb, but Jesus said, no, I want them too. All right, amen. Somebody out there think the same thing about you? Yes. I don't want you to be happy. You ever notice how when God blesses some folks that clean out monster just raise up? Mm. You didn't know that ugly was inside of How dare you having this, that, and nothing, man? I got a God that's rich. That's yes. right. I got a father that owns everything. Yes. yes. He owns everything. Yes. He gives me something every now and then. And you jealous about it. You didn't get on busy knees. All right. All right. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if you want a blessing, and the reason why we're not blessed is because we're not acting and walking in that other state. Amen. Amen. The Amen. blood of Shadow Carey. Get you the right to be adopted to be blessed Amen. like Adam before the fall, like Abraham was, like Jesus is. You are entitled to inheritance Amen. because what God got it because everything belongs to God. Amen. 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 Everything belongs yes. Yes. to God. Yes. He died for us. Mm-hmm. Let's look at chapter 14 and verse 1. He says, read, read verse, verse 1 from if you don't mind. Him that is weak in the faith, receive him, but not with doubtful. Him that is weak in what? In the faith. What do you say? Receive him, but not with doubtful dispensation. Brothers and sisters, everybody don't have your faith. Amen. Amen. Everybody had to walk and be through what you've been through. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, 
We don't want what we've been through and hate our life. And you turn around and see what God has brought you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that you done. Oh, yeah. How he took you from here to there, every step along the way, he has brought you, and that's an evidence he increased your faith. Because all you gotta do is have the faith of a mustard seed. Amen. Amen. Oh, so that, that's small piece of pepper. Amen. They ain't a whole lot of faith. That's just right. And when you really sit back and think about it, all you need is a little T19. Yes. yes. Little bitty, a little bit. Little bit. Piece yes. of faith. Yeah. And you're gonna be blessed. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Well, that's your head. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I think we're slapped the left knee. What the hell's going on? Yes. If you sit back and think about how much faith you need, mm -hmm. and people that are out there that don't have that much faith in the law. Well, that's what Paul is telling the Romans here. He says, Him that is weak in the faith, receive him. In other words, you have a responsibility to reach the laws for Christ. You have a responsibility because each and every one of us know somebody in our immediate family, in our circle of influence, whether it's on our job, or entertainment, gym, wherever it is you got, you know somebody that don't know the Lord. Come on, right. Amen. 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 And we're circled around people like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, there is a problem if you go to the unemployment line, you see a Christian in the unemployment line. Yeah. Ain't got no work to do, you better check their theology. All right. That's work we need to do as long as we're alive is trying to reach the lost for Christ. Amen. 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 It's not optional, it's mandatory. That's right. First you said, for one believeth that he may eat all things along who is weak, eat earth. Bottom line is one we missed Sunday school this morning. Paul was talking to the Corinthians about the same thing about being what you eat. And if somebody is weak in your service, and they are offended by you eating food that would have been sacrificed to idols, you say you're not do it. Mm -hmm. Because you're helping a weak person stumble. Come on, come on. Brother, so right. watch your walk. Yes. Amen. Amen. Watch your talk. Yes. Yes. Somebody's always better out in your conversation. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, got their eyes on you. Yeah. Yeah. They say, well, you're a Christian, but well, why are you acting like that? Mm -hmm. Why are you talking like that? Are you treating it like that? So the bottom line here, whether you like it or not, your life is in a fishbowl. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Christ died for us. That means we ought to act a certain way as a believer. If you believe that Jesus Christ lived, died, and rose again, he said, Thou shalt be saved. That's all it's going to take. Amen. Amen. That's what salvation is all about. That's how sick we need. Now, if they don't want to get that, that's on them. But that blood ain't on your hands no more. That's right. Amen. 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 God has given us his word that he will bless us. The bottom line is, you're going to be blessed like Abraham if you believe his Bible. If you trust the word. If you meditate. Let me tell you, you've been practicing meditation already. Amen. How many times have you been worried? Amen. Have you got a word lately? All right, all what right. What about this? What about that? Yeah. That's practice meditation. Yeah. You got it down. You got it down pat. Yeah. But the problem is, you need to practice meditation on the word of God. Amen. If you put the word of God where you've been worried, you'll be a blessing. Yeah. If you put faith where your worry is, right. each and every one has a worry. Let's dig, let's keep calm in our lives. But if you get you a verse and meditate on it, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Amen. You'll see a difference. Amen. If you meditate on God's word, yes, Lord. you'll see a difference. Yes, oh, yeah. You're going to see a difference in your life. You're going to see a difference in your circumstance. Yes. Because of what Jesus did, yes. Jesus come to make a difference in your life. Amen. Because he come to die. Yes. He, said, he said, let go. Amen. Let go. Let go. Yes. Can you repeat after me? Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. And let go. Let go. Let go. And let go. And let go. And you tell whatever it is you've been hanging on to. You can't stay here. That's right. You gotta get out of here. I'm tired of being shit. I'm tired of being broken hearted. I'm tired of being broken down. Let's see what we got right here. Let's go back now to verse 8. This is 
is up tomorrow. Look at. And he's saying right here, for whether we live, some of us want to die. Yeah. Some of us have given up on life. You have given up on your dreams. You've given up on your aspirations. It's because you ain't told nobody about it. Bottom line is, I can tell you because you ain't happy. Right. Like you chewed on a, a bush of green lemons. Right. Just got looking like a bulldog. We need to bring looking like a bulldog to our smile. Amen. But the bulldog frowned at you. You ever see, see a bulldog smile? <laughs> when you look at somebody looking like a bulldog, they ain't happy. <laughs> Amen now. We need to bring these bold off Christians to have a smile on our face every now and then. Because life is tough. Life is, is, is difficult. But you can't do it by yourself. That's why Jesus died for you. Come on. Help you through this journey. Amen. Amen. This is tough. Jesus is a bridge to carry you over. Yes. Yes. He's a bridge to a trouble wall. Amen. He's a copy keeper. Yes. He's everything that you need. Uh, see, I know you say you got faith, but you got that bulldog look on your face. Yeah. Yeah. I know I ain't got enough me, but me. me. Yeah. I'm going to try to help you see, see Jesus. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 But we looking right now. You got to know God's able. Yeah. Yes, he is. You know, God will make a way out of no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we're telling God is our problem is bigger than you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and cigarettes a day and bum everything else you can get your hands on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take it out of your taste. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take that out of your mind. Yeah. I'm going to take it out of your life. Because yeah. that's the work you need to do for me. Yeah, this is my 30th year trying to tell a dying world about a living God. Well, yeah. well, well. That's reality, Simon. Yeah. A true and living God. Yeah. That's why I give you book, chapter, and verse. So you can see for yourself. When you ain't with me, you put your hand up. Say, God, your word. God, you gave us your word. Jesus, your word. Yeah. He's the walking, talking word. Yeah. He said, he is the way. I am the true word and the life. He want to change your life. He want to give you some quality of life. He want to increase the principles in your life to be more like him. It's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. Verse 8 says, Whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether what we die, yeah. baby, don't tell about that. Yeah. You have to say, At the time to be born, yeah. uh, at the time to die. Yeah. So, so, I'm going to tell you, let you know something. Amen. Death ain't quit doing his job. Uh -uh. Oh, well. He's calling folks home every day. Oh, yeah. Somebody died today, they ain't never died before. Amen. But so I need you to understand one of these old days, we gotta step off the balcony. Oh, oh, yes. The question is, where your soul gonna spend it turning? Yes. Yes. That's your time too long to figure out you know. Yes. So Paul is telling the Romans right here, he said, now whether we live, we're gonna live for the law. But if we die, you're gonna die anyway. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We ought to die in the law. Oh, so if you die in the law, you got somewhere to go. Yeah. If you die in the law, this is just the beginning. Yes. Uh -huh. You got somewhere else on the other side. Well, That's a better place than this. Amen. We gotta understand. If you die in the law, oh, yeah. God said, I got a relationship with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, when you walk out this box, when you leave all this behind, oh, yeah. when you take his soul back what oh, yeah. he gave you, you're gonna be in the new Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. If you have you'll be able to walk with, it. you'll oh, yeah. be in the presence of it. all this suffering. Oh, it's hard. Oh, yeah. It's only temporary. Oh, yes. no, so the life is only temporary. And Bible says it's only a vapor. Yes. It's only a vapor. Yes. Yes. Brother, so I need you to understand that greater things are ahead of us. We got to keep looking toward the hills. Oh, we're coming out of heaven. Yes. Brother, so I know you got a heavy load this morning. This week has been a challenge to you. Oh, this whole situation that all around that we've been dealing with. But I need you to know, we got a God that circumvents your heartache. Oh, yeah. That's why Jesus is going to die. Amen. Give you the strength to endure Amen. what you're going through. Oh, yeah. He has given his blood, sworn hope, oh, that through our union with Jesus, everything he promised Abraham is ours in full. The bottom line is, everything that God promised Abraham, guess what? Oh. Everything that he promised Abraham is yours. Because Abraham could be a blessing to the whole wide world. But so everything that God gave Adam before the fall is yours. God has not changed. The blessing that God wants to give you has not changed. Just because sin entered to the world and Adam messed up, the bottom line is that blessing is still there. And then Jesus come to die for you. Yeah. And because when Jesus raised up from the dead, that blessing is still in there for you. Yes. All you got to do is have faith. Yes. 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 Brothers and sisters, we hear our blessing. Yes. We look through yes. our mind, our mind say, we can't do this. It's all like yes or no. But the Spirit says, y'all say yes. 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 yes, you can do it. Yes, yes. yes God is real. Because yes. yes. I can feel it yeah. on the inside. Yes. I can feel it in my lowest moment. I can feel it moving when I got a broken heart. I can feel it when my mind messed up. But the mind is going to tell you no. But as soon as we got two phases of us, our mind going to say yes and no. It don't believe. But the spirit believes. Yes. Yes. So look at it through a deeper part of yourself. And your soul and the spirit is important to God. Is that amazing? Yes. It says right here, this is something I just want to let you know. He died for us. He said, whether we live therefore or die, we what? All the laws. Read the laws. Yes. Read that to you again. Whether we live, uh -huh. we live unto the law. Yeah. Whether we die, uh -huh. we die unto the law. Uh -huh. Whether we live therefore or die, uh -huh. we are the law. The earth is the law. Yes. And the moon is Everything belongs to God. You belong to God. Right. We in our minds, eyes, brothers and sisters, we have convinced ourselves because we're dealing in a pessimistic world. And understand, God has called you out of the world. Yes, oh, yes, yes, 
made you believe. That's why it's peculiar. That's why it's different. That's why everybody can't figure you out. You just keep walking that walk. Keep talking that talk. Because you know what he did for you. Come on now. I'm going to clap Say it now that he might 
Be Lord both what? Of the dead and the living. And the living. Yeah. 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 If you are living, yeah. you're going to give you some praise. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
time your mind takes about your troubles, that your big the spirit says, shut up. Because there's victory in Jesus. That your spirit tells your mind to shut up. I don't come up. Shut up, because he lives inside of me. Praise he that's inside of me. He that's in the world. It ought to be a prayer. He that's inside of you. He in the world. That's for us. Go to church.
scriptures. I'm going to leave these two scriptures with you. Romans 15, chapter 15. Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. In verse 13 it says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read that through the scripture to you again. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever things were written aforetime, time, uh -huh. time. were written for our learning, mm -hmm. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, Now the God of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Praise God. God's word. Amen. God is spoken. Brothers and sisters, thank you for coming to church this morning. Amen. I hope you said something that made a difference. Amen. We want to thank our visitors for coming. Amen. Praise God. Praise God.